Whether it's a class, a chemistry read, or on the set, working with a partner can sometimes be fraught with challenges. <laughs> fraught. <laughs> Who talks like that? <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> Listen, being a team player in a good sport may not always be the most useful approach for you or your partner for that matter. Now, I don't mean to imply that you should be difficult to work with. Not at all. There are ways you can make amazing discoveries and rewarding outcomes with your acting and an acting partner while working together. Working with a partner on this episode of Casting Actors Cast. for another episode of Casting Actors Cast, insights for actors from a casting director. Here he is, your host, Jeffrey Dreisbach. Well, hello and welcome to today's episode of Casting Actors Cast. I'm casting partner Jeffrey Dreisbach with the McCorkle Group in New York City. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I, I know it's August when I'm recording this, and it's it's hot, it's wicked hot and awful, and lots of storms and stuff going on, but I thought this might be a really great day to, you know, talk about storms, maybe the stormy situation that happens when you're working with a partner. So uh, I'm really looking forward to sharing this information with you. Hopefully, you're going to find this useful, not only now, but in future, in future opportunities that you might find yourself in, whether it's on the set or in a classroom environment, whatever it is, uh, I think it's going to be uh, stuff that you can kind of put in your pocket and make really good use of. But first, this is that moment of the podcast where I get to say thank you for tuning into Casting Actors Cast. Please go to the website, castingactorscast.com. Um, you're going to find all kinds of cool information there, podcasts. You'll also find show notes. Um, the archive of podcasts is what I meant to say. Uh, the show notes are called Jeff's Jots, and they correspond to each of the episodes. And they're just usually one page. It's a PDF. But it really does give you the notes that I use in the podcast. So you can have some tangible, you know, refer back to kind of information. Also, you're going to see a video if you fill out that form that says dive into the talent pool. And it's a video called Casting Secrets, what they don't tell you. But you know what? I'm going to tell you in this 20-minute uh, video that you're going to find only if you fill out the form that says dive into the talent pool. It asks for your name and your email address. And I've said this many, many times. I don't use your email address in a, you know, bad way. I might send out an announcement about a particular project, or I might send out a future, um, you know, listen in on the next podcast kind of note. But honestly, I don't even do it once a month. It's very rare. So I want you to know that your information that you give me is private and protected. But it does help me know that you're out there, which is what I depend upon and what keeps me going doing these podcasts. So please do that. Hey, listen, also, if you have a question uh, that you really need some answers to from a casting director, then please, by all means, simply go to castingactorscast at gmail.com. Castingactorscast, all one word, at gmail.com. And finally, you know, check us out on YouTube. The YouTube channel doesn't get a lot of views. The podcast gets a tremendous amount of attention, and I'm so thrilled about that. But if you want to see me do the podcasts live, you can see me actually do it. And I I don't know. I'm thinking that there is a way that you get more information when you can actually see the way in which I'm expressing some of the information I'm sharing with you on video. But it's your choice. Um, certainly, you don't want to look at the YouTube channel while you're driving. <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, finally, my shout out to my good friends at actorsconnection.com slash New York. Hello to Colleen and Tony. Please check out their roster of classes with casting directors, agents, managers, all kinds of really cool, interesting programming going on there, both live and in person. So let's live. So live and online. 
<laughs> All right, let's jump into this, shall we? Now, here are some ways I think that you can initiate a really healthy professional partner relationship. Now, I want you to keep in mind that I'm talking about classes, I'm talking about auditions, whether it's a, a, a chemistry read, or even when you are on the set working with an actor, perhaps for the first time. These are some things that I think these are tools in the toolkit, if you will, that are going to be really helpful to you when you make the choices that you make to only enhance the acting experience with a partner. So the first thing I want to put out there is to have an open discussion with that partner about the scene. And here's what I mean by that. What I don't mean is no actor talk. It doesn't need to be, you know, one upsmanship about how you have the professional vocabulary to discuss a scene. It's not an intellectual exercise. What I'm suggesting is simply have a, an easy discussion in general terms about the scene. That's a great way to kick off the ice. In other words, if you would approach your partner and say, you know what, I think this is a really cool scene because these two people really seem to have um, some kind of attraction. Uh, or you might be saying, you know, this is an amazing scene because I've really look forward to having a fight. <laughs> you know, fights are really, really fun to play. Those are the kinds of things to break the ice, if you will, with a partner. It really does help you establish the relationship right out of the gate. Now, let's move on from there. What would be useful for your partner from you? So simply ask, is there something you would like or need from me in this scene? You make it about them. That is so generous on your part, and that really does establish being a team player without having to work hard at showing that you're a team player. It simply is showing interest in what the other actor might find helpful from you in a scene. That becomes so, uh, I think, incredibly foundational in a good way. Okay, let's move on from there. I think it's always valuable to simply keep the discussions friendly, keep the discussions professional. And there's no need to necessarily talk about personal matters if you don't want to. But friendly, professional, um, being open and receptive, those are the kinds of things you know that intellectually. But sometimes we find ourselves in a situation where it might be hard to summon those feelings, perhaps because of nervousness, because perhaps because of the environment that you find yourself in. All of those are valid. But if you keep in mind that you are simply there to be friendly and professional, um, I think that that really sets up for a great dynamic between you and your partner. Now, I know this next one goes without saying, and uh, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> Because uh, in this day and age, we need to be very respectful of what the other in the scene might be sensitive to. And that means, please make sure you ask permission if there is any touching or any physical contact whatsoever. Um, you know, simply asking the other actor, is it okay if I grab your hand at this moment? Is it okay if I put a hand on your shoulder at this moment? If you think that that's kind of a really great way to make some kind of statement about your relationship, you don't have to over-explain, but simply asking permission is the right thing to do and will keep you from any sense that this might be overstepping. Once you ask permission and you have that discussion, you now can feel comfortable or not. The partner might say, you know what, I'm not really thinking that that's going to be useful. In which case, you must honor that. You must find a way to have that same intention without necessarily the physical contact. Now, I know that we live in a day and age where we have intimacy coaches on set, um, and I really uh, admire the work that those professionally trained, certified intimacy co coaches can do in terms of establishing the boundaries of any physical contact whatsoever. But if it's an audition or a class situation, please just keep that in mind. That's just the right thing to do. Make sense? I think so. 
Okay, let's kind of move on from that intimacy, that touching thing. This is valuable because I think sometimes actors, when they are nervous or when they find themselves in a very new situation, maybe it's a new relationship with this actor, um, just to simply think about not being the director of the scene. You know, when we are nervous, sometimes we kind of want to be a little more, and I'm trying to be gentle here, I am, try to be controlling, try to be the one that is making the suggestions and how the scene should be played. Please do yourself a favor. You don't need to direct the scene. You don't need to get everything out of the other for your benefit. It really needs to be, you just need to be cool about that. Um, keep in mind that you're both on the same page and then you're going to be in great shape. I think you should also, moving on from there, demonstrate good listening by simply asking questions. And you don't have to have an answer to the question. It really is legitimate questions. Do you think that this this is kind of the way this should 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 evolve? Um, do you think that it's a good idea that we could really be more intense? It it really is just simply asking questions and being not manipulative with the question, but being open with the question to really think that you're getting insight and information from the other boy. That's extremely useful. Plus, it keeps you sharp. It keeps you from kind of deciding how to play the part. It keeps it interesting and fresh when you simply ask questions if the opportunity is there. Now, I also think that you should make sure this happens, and I've seen this quite frequently, make sure that you communicate the difference between your rehearsal process and your audition. Um, they're sometimes very, very different. Here's an example. If you have um, an opportunity before an audition to work with the other actor, you want to run the scene a couple of times, just make sure that you're saying to the other you know, I just want to just read it. I don't want to act. I don't want to kind of pretend we're auditioning here. I just want to get a sense of where we are at with this. Would, would you mind just reading it with me? And I'm probably going to be a little different when I'm in the room, right? But I just thought it would be a good idea just to sort of connect. That's a great way to keep yourself um, uh, fresh, but it's also important that you're saying to the other, uh, I am not auditioning now. And so my energy or my approach or my focus might be slightly different because I just want to work through the scene a little bit. If you're clear about that, uh, clear that it's different for the audition, um, that this is a working um, e experience that's going to be different than the on-set on camera experience, you're going to find that to be very, very clear and helpful as well. Let's move on from there. Um, I think this is also a really good tip, and I needed to hear this out loud for myself um, because I kind of find myself at times getting a little judgmental, not about actors, but about other professional relationships. I think it's important to refrain from making internal judgments or, or critiques about your partner. If you have this internal monologue or this internal dialogue with yourself about, oh gosh, you know what? They're not very good or that's not what I was thinking the scene was about. Please stop yourself. Internal judgments serve no purpose. There's no growth in a judgment. In fact, you're actually closing the door when you make those kind of critiques about the other person, about your partner. So simply catch yourself, refrain yourself from making those kinds of judgments. You're going to find that you continue to make interesting choices if you stop yourself, I promise. Now, if the experience is enjoyable, if you're having a good time with your partner, if you think that the partner's really um, serving both of you in the situation in a good way, you know what? Please say so. Please let your partner know that this is really fun for you and you hope it's fun for them. That it's really, really cool to have somebody uh, like you to do the scene with because it's, it feels so cool. There's no reason why you should refrain from being positive and complimentary if it is true, <laughs> if it feels like right. 
Um, I just think we all need, especially in this day and age, we all need to continue to support each other in our work. And so being able to say so in an open, friendly way is just, I don't know, it does something for you. It also uh, clearly will do something for them. That's why I make that suggestion. Finally, I want you to know that it's important to assume that your partner is on the same page as you. Because they are. They are in the same situation. They're in the same scene on set. They're in the same audition. They're in the same class. So keep that in mind. If you've got somebody who's in a similar or same situation, then you know it's a communal experience. Then you know it's a collaboration. It is not an us versus them. Please don't feel competitive in this environment. This is the time where you can make interesting discoveries because it is a collaboration. You know, many times I've seen an actor's nervousness be perceived as oh, controlling or sometimes forceful. And that can really lead to an uncomfortable experience for both you and them. Please assume that your partner is feeling the same way as you. Also, your choices are yours and must include the choices your partner makes. It may feel contrary to your interpretation at times, but the fun part of the experience is when you make strong choices based in the moment with a partner who is sharing themselves as much as you. Hey, listen, I hope this has been helpful for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you next time on Casting Actors Cast. Thanks so much. Please don't forget to review, like, and share Casting Actors Cast wherever you get your patios, podcast videos. Thanks. I'm Megan Grace Martinez.